Hey there, guys. Happy hump day. Um, hope everybody is doing well. I am doing well. I wanted to show you guys um, I have to I just just stabbed my finger um, as I was setting up for this. So I have to wear one of these old things. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys, uh, I put out um, some earrings yesterday. <laughs> you guys thought it was maybe the paper technique. It is not. I am terrible at the paper technique. I'm convinced that it's like one of those TikTok videos where it's totally fake because I have never been able to do it. And if you have, congratulations, <laughs> but I can't do it. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I have a slab of white here. It's rolled out onto a two, as per usual. Um, I'm going to take pastels. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do a little bit of blue and a little bit of brown. So I'm just going to very lightly... And I don't like not having the use of my finger... This is just a light blue, as you can see. And I'm going to do a light brown. Uh, I'll do this color. I'm not doing very much. And I'm just going to kind of... going to dab it on a little bit. This is just going to give it a little background of what we're doing. So that's how that's going to look. Bring that closer. If you can see, like that. And then we're going to use mica powders and a paintbrush and a silk screen. This silk screen I got a while ago, and it's one of my favorites, so that's why it looks how it looks. Um, and it is from From the Heart, but it is one of my favorites. So it's FTS Supplies. I might have to order another one. But FTS is great. If you guys haven't been on FTH.com, they are wonderful, great customer service, great people. Um, I think they watch my videos too, so hi. Um, so anyway, just place your silk screen down. It's not going to stick that great, but get it to do it as best as it can. Make sure you have the correct side up and correct side down. So <clears throat> I'm using onyx, copper, and chocolate. And I'm literally just going to take a tiny little paintbrush and dip it in. And then just kind of randomly put it on there. Just like how I do with my alcohol inks. just in random spots. Make sure you have a, a, a paintbrush that you don't mind ruining because this isn't the best thing to do with a paintbrush. So that was the Onyx. This is chocolate. And again, just random. Unless you want to have some kind of pattern or something going on, then by all means, do that. And then copper.
So make sure you just cover the whole thing or not. If you don't want to cover the whole thing, then just do little bits and pieces and areas if you want. Obviously you don't have to do the same colors that I'm doing. Make it your own, make it like mine, doesn't matter. And then just put a piece of uh, index card or something on it and then burnish real quick before you remove the silk screen. Just to make sure that it's all in there. Okay, and then take it off and voila, that's what you get. And then just make sure you kind of, I'm gonna take a baby wipe to this later, but the one good thing about it not being paint is you don't have to rush it into the soapy water like always. <coughs> so this is what you have. Let me show you, let me show you what you have. Well, this is what I have anyway. You will have something different. But this is how it looks. There we go. So, obviously you can take this, you can cut things out with it. Um, I'll cut one thing out. Um, just to make a hole because you know I'm going to tear this up and schmarm it all together and, and do all kinds of other fun stuff. So I'll make a little heart. How about that? I know you guys are so shocked that I'm making a heart. So we'll just place this right onto the baking tile. So, you see how that is? It's pretty. And it's got a little shimmer to it because it is mica powder. So now with this, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right in half. We're going to tear it apart. And place randomly on here be careful not to smudge it's gonna smudge a little bit try not to smudge it too much unless of course smudge is the thing that you're looking for but go ahead and place this all around and i'll just throw that whole thing right on there how about that okay no, whoops this is a mess so ignore it um, and then roll that out just a little bit before you roll it through your machine. <clears throat> I'm going to roll it out on a two. And then that's how you get that tissue look. If you can see how that looks. But that's where that comes from. Okay, um, I'm going to throw a little texture on here. I'm just going to do one little corner of texture. I have this cool, it's got a whole bunch of different textures on one. So I'm just going to do this little corner here. Just a little. That one. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one a little teardrop and I like this area 
Maybe I'll do it a little bit half and half. So I'll have texture on one part and not on the other. Because that's always fun. Like that. That's why I only did one little area so that you can kind of cut out. So I have texture just on that one little side there. You can see. And of course I'm gonna put something else on there in that little corner. Um, let's do. Should have had all my cutters ready to go. Sorry guys, just making all this racket. Um, I just want a small little thing, so I'll do just this small little circle, and I like this dark area here, so I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do a little bit half and half like that, not even half. So I'm just gonna put a little hole. Not a hole, but a little dent. And then I'll stick this on my pasta machine. It's at a two now. And I'm going to roll it on a four. So that it just kind of spreads out. And that little hole disappeared, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it on here. Just for a little something something. I'm going to put a little dot there. I, that's just something I like to do. You guys can take it or leave it. But there you go. So I'll bake that one. And then um, how about this little piece here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to throw this on here and do it again. I'll do this like four or five times sometimes. <laughs> just keep going. It just makes more texture and just keeps looking cooler and cooler. Um, the color will fade. I didn't do a very dark base color on this white. Oops. Kind of shredded a little bit. That was not happy. Um, so you can do a darker, you can do the base darker with the pastels, or I mean, use a different color on the bottom altogether. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Doesn't always turn out, but sometimes it does. Very light. I don't know that I'm going to do anything with that. Let me see. It still looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to cut a couple of squares out. Maybe I'll make some earrings or something. I like this little area here. And I like to get some of that texture from the tears in there also. Because it looks cool. So there we go. We'll see how those look. Maybe so, maybe no. We will find out together. Like I said, I like the the texture with the tear, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bake these 275 for about 35, 40 minutes, and I will be back to show you what I do. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. Everything's all baked and Delicious. Um, so this is how the first one looked that I didn't do the tear on. Hopefully you can see that. And then this one is with the texture and everything else. And the colors did get very muted. Like I said, you can do the pastels a lot darker and they will come out darker. And I don't have an example to show you right here. I apologize. Um, but like this, the, this will look more like this if it's if it's done more dark. 
Um, but that's that's how that is. Um, I um, forgot what I was going to say. Um, anyway, um, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, hit that thanks button if you feel like you want to give me a little tip. Um, you can check out my website, Trey's Clay, T R E Y S Clay dot com, uh, for Trey's Clay spray and for any jewelry. Um, I'm going to make these into something. Um, I'll show them later. Um, and uh, join Happy Place Studio, um, the Facebook group. It's a fun group. Everyone seems to like it. You can show off your stuff. Everybody is really great about answering questions. Um, we have a lot of knowledge going on in there. So I'll put a link to it in the description. If there's any links of anything that I use that you would like, please feel free to ask. I hope you guys have a great day, and you'll see me tomorrow. Bye.